Number 10 then from the 2017 Mathematics and Mechanics, five mark question. Little bit of light relief again, just a little sum to do effectively here. No thinking about interpreting the situation. Use integration by parts to obtain this integral. Now it's integration by parts because it's the integral of a product. You know the pattern for differentiating a product and differentiating a quotient, because that's essentially the same thing. This is simply that pattern in reverse. Now it is just a pattern, so you can just leap straight in with it because there's no explaining to do. It's the same as the product rule. Each of the factors is dealt with one at a time while the other one waits. If you wish, you can write things down at the side. That doesn't offer any further explanation rather than just leaping straight in with a pattern, which I'll do now without any further ado. The procedure is choose one to differentiate and one to integrate. Now, integrating and differentiating sine will make no difference. It'll just keep going through sine cos, sine cos forever. However, differentiating x squared will eventually whittle it away. So that's the plan. I'll differentiate the x squared and integrate the 5x. Now, doing that is the first mark. Choosing which to differentiate and which to integrate. Next thing then is to do those things properly and then finally put them together in the expression. So the pattern would be you're integrating, integrate first. So the x squared weights whilst you integrate sine 5x, that goes back up to cos 5x, but negative. And since it's a function of a function, also divide by the derivative of the inner function. The derivative is 5, so it's times negative a fifth of cos 5x. Minus. Right, that one's been done. Now it's this one's turn. Differentiate x squared. That'll go to 2x. And this just stays the same as it's become and gets carried forward. Times negative a fifth of cos 5x dx. There's the next mark for differentiating one and integrating the other. Now it's just a case of put that together. This first part is going to be negative fifth of x squared cos 5x. Tidying this up, negative, negative there, that'll be plus, take out the factors, two fifths, plus two fifths of, and you're left with the integral of x cos 5x dx. That's the third mark. Now, you just do again differentiate the x term and integrate the cos 5x term. Unfortunately, this just has to keep on reappearing. Not a lot you can do about that. And it's two fifths of, now the pattern again. In, it's an integration, integrate first, so the x weights well, the cos integrates back up to sine of 5x, so divide by that derivative 5, minus the integral of, now that's been done, maybe I'll just emphasise it by putting it in these wee aesthetic brackets here. Now, differentiate x and it'll go to 1. So 1 times, and that just stays the same. A fifth of sine 5x, whoops, dx. That's the fourth mark. Now it's just tidy it all up. Well, not much I can do with that. We'll just have to stay the same. A bit tedious. That part's done, so it can just get tidied up. Two fifths of one fifth is two twenty fifths of x sine five x. Do this part. Sine, I don't want to write another line. Just doing the inner part and then another line after that, just to multiply by that two fifths and so on. So just be aware of all the signs and numbers here. Sine goes back to cos 5x, but that would be negative cos 5x. So let's gather up these negatives. One, two, and that's positive. So it's going to be plus cos 5x. It would have been divided by five. So instead of one fifth, it'll be one over 25. And then finally, oh, I must have a bracket here, not there. Mr. a bracket here. And then finally multiplied by two fifths, which makes it two over one, two, five. And since I've finished the integrations, plus C. Now this can be tidied up because there are two terms in cos five X. 
I'm not sure if leaving it like that would be the final answer for that mark. But as well, tidying this up, there's something else you could do. You could take out the worst of the denominators as a common factor for the whole thing, but I think I'll just leave it in because there'll still be two separate parts. So cos 5x has got in front of it 2 upon 125 minus a fifth of x squared, lots of cos 5x plus 2 upon 25x sine 5x plus c. That'll do.